All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another turn of the False Pretenders. I'm the False God. Joining me is Arpatheus. I'm here, ready to go, ready to go. Uh, ready to go, turn 22. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Not a Not lot. <laughs> oh, this could Good be, turn. we could get a double turn in here. All right. Oh, what have you got? Mythical double turn. On the <laughs> We've got a kill 3,000 people. Tough to be old. <laughs> sad, sad Aww. Olmish times. Uh, and Olm has a battle here. This is, they're going for this throne again. Nice guy. Let's they got, go. they got the troops. There's nobody here. Fourth time looking. Is it the fourth? I thought this was the third. Third time? I can't remember. Yeah, we got We've some... had another break between recording. We have. I got some elementals charging in. This time, I believe. I believe this time he's getting. He's getting. It's got to be to make up for that event. Everybody's going on the back. Come on, people. That's there smart, you go. That's this, this, over here. This, they're holding firm. One of the majors are down. Oh. Okay. I think he got. I think he's got him. He's got it. Ladies and gentlemen. He's the he proud owner of one throne. Which throne is it? It's the throne of knowledge. Great throne. Uh, nice. Getting that uh, astral uh, with the sages on Ulm to make up for the bad MR is going to be really good. Yes, that's a huge one. And it also comes with the silver mine, uh, making this a pretty nice province. So it took a little while, but I'm sure he's going to be very happy he got that. Uh, he's got a citadel here. How did he... He's got the furbog. The furbog fortress. A fortress. That... So that goes in the citadel. That's really nice in EA. That is very nice. Cosplaying as is, uh, is his future future self in later ages with the Citadel. Yeah, I was like, hold on. I was like, Ulm gets Citadels, maybe. And then I was like, wait, no, not not EA Ulm. Uh, okay, well, he's got the throne, so that's great news. Good for him. Tirnanog finally has stopped dithering, and they've agreed to attack Hinnom. So Van, oh. the elves are both going after Hinnom. That's probably bad news for Hinnom. Okay, this is big hype for me. I'm I'm excited for this. Yeah, they're getting... that's going to be kind of awkward though, right? They're kind of attacking the same. Uh, if this works out well, they, yes. they want to make sure they don't bump with a with Elfing. And they also, if one of them, if Hinnom falls back, they can't really both attack, right? Right, Hinnom, yeah, Hinnom moved up into Agartha, who is they both, who they both originally neighbored. Also, who knows what Agartha might do? They're still there. I don't think they're getting consulted with this. <laughs> they, they're, well, no, they're but... surely they could be. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, the the magma kids are going to be good. Oh yeah, against this, right? I mean, I know the the elves have some resistances, but should still be they... decent. They do. Uh, I mean, we'll see. You know, Agartha's a pretty big stack. It could definitely throw a wrench into somebody's plan. Um, okay, so he's saying he's never fought Hinnom before. He'll try and test some stuff. Van has lots of thrones. Yeah, so you, he's like, you know what? I think Hinnom's too big. Vanheim with three thrones. That's my ally. Yeah, well, if he... He has those thrones, but he can't really... You know, it's still a way of winning. And if he yes. gets bigger, it could be easier for Let, people to yeah. coalition him, right? Let's, it's more justifiable. Yes, let's let's read the Hinnom and do the Hinnom battles. Then we can go and look at how the geography of all this works out. Yeah, yeah. And then we can, I think we can brainstorm a bit on how we think this is going to... Yep. Oh, okay, yeah. so he's going to try and uh, super combat in Agartha's cap with a milk cart. I like that idea because I think he would take some really bad losses on that army if he fought. Yeah, I think up. the army would definitely take a lot of damage, which he, he may or may not know, and he probably can't afford with a double elfing coming. So let's see. Oh, I've just got a commander pinging the throne. Okay. It's got a great big old neater of kings on it. And we've got a Gartha rides out against Hinnom. With like a like a little raiding that, party, that is a motley crew. That ah, uh, that's a motley you'd crew. Have, that looks like it's gonna you'd win. You'd have some, you'd have some harsh words if this was a Satis army. I yeah. would, I certainly would. It looks a lot like a Satis army. Um, it's funny. Okay, all right, so it's let's go ahead. <laughs> okay, okay, so he so moved 
onto the cap. Um, Agartha, I guess, has, has well. no PD. Yeah. Well, he's got a. I mean, he's got a huge army. Um, but although I'm Garfin's surprised. Are really good at defending. That's so. what I was about to say. Yeah. Uh, do you, <sighs> does it it's having back up to five hundred? Yeah, it's back up to five hundred. Uh, Thirteen thousand population. Top four income is. <laughs> uh, okay, so all right, let's zoom out for a second. So we've got a you know a really large uh, Hinnom army. We can't see the Agartha army now, but I think from last turn they're somewhat comparable. Um, and Hinnom didn't have any mages here. I think that what are we on turn twenty two? I think that there should be mages with this army at this point, probably. Uh, there definitely should be if. Well, he has the Melkart, right? So there, there is that. He has. Wasn't really on the... He has a Melkart. Um, so if he if he can take yeah if he can take it, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how confident I am that he can. But if he can take it with the Melkart, then he might be in a position to defend himself from the elves. I think it's still going to be very tricky. If there's right. a you know if a Gartha rides out, which I think quite possibly happen, and there's a big fight, I think Hinnom's in a really dangerous predicament with the elves coming in on him agreed um well i mean the milk card obviously is a fine caster but i'm just thinking you know hinnom has a lot of just like you know um random twos like somebody could be here doing anti-magic somebody could be here doing strength of giants legions of steel you know just some of those early game stuff that i think would help this army out a lot yeah um, maybe i don't know you could have body ethereal maybe some luck yeah yeah so stuff There's lots of things. It's Hinnom they can do. Yeah, loads. I mean, Hinnom but can do he, I think quite a bit. Be, especially with his size, his research that he has um, at this point, in turn 23, 22. Um, right, I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think you need something from that. more think, research. Yeah. I'm not sure... Why is his research is still that low, to be honest? I'm, I'm also... I mean, we see a couple... Couple guys outside searching, um, but actually, Melk. I wonder if he's. I wonder if he's not making mages in every province to like make more troops. Well, I would say that's that's not what he should be doing. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't. I don't think that's. I don't think that's a, gonna work out. I'm just wondering where all. I'm like maybe they moved in here. We didn't see them, but I don't think we've seen them before. Um, I just think there should be some armies up here doing something. Yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure what it should be. You're more the, the Hinnom guy here, but I, I mean, think there should be. Some... Uh, yeah, some. I think you've got you've got X. I think you're probably relying right now on Earth twos and Astral twos, um, to do some nice low level buffing. Um, you could also, it, depending on your research, you could do a lot of things. But his research is just is very low. He's not like he's Magic three. He's magic three. I don't know. I'm confused. Yeah. Well, I guess he only has the three forts, right? It's that's not actually. Well, this one too, but but yeah. But he I mean, only got that one. It doesn't. Yeah, but three four. I mean, lots of people are on three forts. Yes, but he's if he's been out sight searching a lot, and then he's he brought like a couple of guys up. He has those shamans. Yeah, I mean, or, or and then I just he's not like uh, for his size. He's not actually got a relatively high number of forts that he's been using so his his research isn't i mean maybe where, where we're expecting it to be. i i think that also, it's something if you if he's, you... Also, he's also using reanimation quite a lot yeah isn't he? reanimation is definitely yeah. gonna gonna factor in um but even if you say like usually you send out like an army or two i mean we could see how many are out here right um so i don't know i don't quite I don't quite fully understand, no, that, but that also makes me even more worried for this. Yes, double elfing, which is a terrifying. The, the, the double oh, elfing is very terrifying. Speak out loud. Yeah. Now it is going to be a little bit awkward. Um, it is. It's a diagonal can, war. Yeah, well, Van Heim can come in I mean, you know, below that throne. Can. TNN can sort of make it go through the Bar Province as well later, and it's, yeah, there are some other ways they can get in. Well, I mean, they're, it's a bit awkward. It's a bit it's awkward. Very awkward. It's very awkward, actually. But uh, maybe they can make it work. Maybe they don't both have to fight after a while. You know, if they, if this Hinnom army 
it fights a Gartha or it doesn't, but it, it gets beat up by somebody. And then one of them can take some spoils and the other one can carry on the war on their own. Right. Yeah, you could definitely I think, look to do that. I think I just... Anaheim is the more likely to, based on the geography, uh, more mm. likely to be able to do that maybe. But, but we'll find out. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll find out. I'm just... Uh... It is it's a bit of an awkward direction. Um and I I mean Hinam I guess is large. Um I don't know that they're currently in they're certainly not in coalition territory. Uh, I mean they are the biggest but not by like a huge margin. No, I think this is m more in the lines of a dog pile. Yeah, I think so. Um okay. Well, luckily for Hinam it's all on that one front. So like Ulm isn't really Gonna attack them, I don't think. Marbury right. just lost some stuff against the Tears, so they're fighting them. Right. Yomi likewise is fighting the Tears. So. Fludge is in the water. Um fighting Theranos. Yes. Yeah. Uh Fludge is back out there as a cat, by the way, with uh, no contest. Um But yeah, didn't, I mean didn't even patrol with the Kraken. That's interesting. Yeah, I didn't patrol with the Kraken. Um so yeah, I don't know. I I think Hitop certainly has the tools. I uh, you know, like and the nation has the tools. I just I'm a little confused where the research is to to sort of give access to them. But I don't know. Tell us what we're missing. Um. Okay. I mean, oh, and Theranos sent a message. Do you have anything else yeah. for this for this front? Uh, not currently. Uh, I think I think we'll get a lot more information next turn or two, especially if there's a fight on Agartha. Yeah. Um, yep. Okay. We didn't get a time frame from TNN, did we? So we don't know. Uh, he's did. We did. They have. Oh, did I think we? He um, sneaking this turn, attacking next turn. Okay. So very soon. Okay. So yeah, it should be coming up. Uh, okay. Theranos. Uh, stop the first wave, but here comes the second wave. Um, and he, yeah, he's right. He has pretty much nothing but his god. Got fifteen hundred gold from luck events. But he doesn't want to dump it into PD. Yeah. Okay. So getting all three. Hmm. Going to be going to be pretty big for. It's going to help the. Yeah. Is it Iron's going to get that? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It'll help. I almost wonder. Um, PD dumping your capital. You know, right? The ghosts do have a lot of trouble. I wonder if you could have um, tried to put the kraken out somewhere, and then like PD dumped another tile because these guys are are like the the pro guard are fine but like the part of the reason that you know they they have a crushing advantage against ghosts with these magic weapons but that is just a neutral thing against regular troops i don't know just trying to think through yeah yeah i mean you, i think that's i think that's reasonable considering he's going to struggle to spend that gold any other way right um well wow. uh and uh Pelagio didn't but go he, right he, in if he needs his kraken to get him to alt three then i also see why he's done that true okay well we'll look to see if we get uh any more any more action in the uh the coming turns um but i think i mean no more battles no more messages yeah, we'll just have a quick scan of the map, shall we? And then... Yeah, just kind of real quick. So, yeah, we talked about uh, Banheim's going to war. Airmore. So this is ideal for Ermor, though, right? Uh, yeah, them two, going to war? Two, the, the, yeah, the two yeah, elves on true. either his side who have got these scary blesses, neither of them coming after him. He obviously doesn't know right now, but this is really good for him. Yeah, it's it's definitely nice that. Yeah, he still. I mean, so he. Be, what would he be even yeah. better if he can backstab one of them? I'd say yeah, he be, he's got to be looking to backstab, or he's got to go fight Caelan. Yeah, maybe he could fight Caelan with Ulm. That could be. Maybe yeah, work together as uh, you know, some some humans against the vicious mythological creatures. Uh, okay. Air more T and N. We talked about they're going in. Um, Satis has got his two provinces. Um, 
He's got his mining man. I'm sure he's recruiting up what he can. Marverni has collected another stack. Do you think they're going to try again? <laughs> I, I don't think they should, but I also kind of want them to. <laughs> I just want to see. I just want to see it. Um, it, I think it's really showing uh, the power of human nations to recover from a loss. The fact that Marvoni can continuously put mm -hmm. these these armies out of a couple of hundreds, despite all the the losses they've had. Yeah, they've, their armies have been kind of just you know one turn recoveries. Uh, Yomi has got a bunch of Ko-Oni and Aka-Oni chilling in yep. this, uh, here we got the Tengu over here, uh, the if Dai he has, if, if he has little Bakamono, um, guys, then they could be stealthy. So yep. Wouldn't see yep, for sure. Uh, and he's got a, you know, these, these nations right now are trying to come up with a plan to smash this monument. Um... Yes. Oh, we kind of talked about it a little bit. You know, they've got their throne. You know, we need. They're gonna to need to go fight somebody. So Marverni's engaged, and his whole his whole na army is over here, and he's got these outward flung things. I would. I'd be seriously considering attacking Marverni unless I thought I was gonna get birded. I I think. Which I think he might. Um, um, I think Ulm's uh, situation is dramatically improved with Vanheim going off to fight Hinnom. Uh, I think attacking either Marverni, which is the straightforward decision right now, right? Because he doesn't know. Um, well, he doesn't know that Vanheim's free either. To right, he doesn't actually know else, it but, yet. Yeah, but uh, once they find out, I think he has a great opportunity to fight Caelan with Ermor or to fight Marverni while he's busy off with right. the monument. I don't think you can go into Marverni until you have some handle on the Caelan situation, though. Like. You can't. I don't think you can march this way with an uncommitted Caleb who can just come in and bird you. No, uh, he could maybe. I don't know if he could do some sort of defensive packs with them more. Um, maybe those, I, those are not I, very not, popular. No, they're not. They're not. But I think you know, a bit of a unique situation. You've got big birds and big scary elves and <laughs> mutual neighbors. Yeah, it um, could be. I'm I not think... sure Ermore would agree to that. Currently, though, before he knows that the elves are busy. Right. I think if if these two find out the elves are busy, I think that it would make a lot of sense for both of them to be like, okay, great chance, let's go kill the birds. Yep. Or maybe they both go after Vanheim, but I think... Could be. Again, though, it's hard if the birds either are committed. Yeah, because yeah, then the birds are a free agent on either of them. Yep. Mm. Uh, yeah. If I'm the birds, I'm also like, hey, Satis, you know, you let me take this one. How you, how you feeling about this province? <laughs> Can I just wander in here? And gobble this up too. I mean, if he wanted to, I, I don't think anyone could really stop, stop him taking that. No, no I don't I think Yomi so. could stop him either. No, um, it'd be difficult with you know, flaming arrows isn't going to be great against two hundred birds shopping on you. Right, and Yomi has a lot of naked temples that you definitely don't want to have to deal with birds raiding. No, that does that does sound horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. But also, I mean, Caleb is, I think, in a great spot. They're, they're, you know, they're uncommitted. They've picked up a couple of small gains. Um, you know, I when if they can find a, a profitable moment to go in on one of their neighbors, I think it's going to be really good for them. It is. It is. Uh, okay, we did Marverni. We did Alm. Did I? Uh... Well, I think. Um, I think we got I think we could. I think we could try and get that second turn. Do you think? Uh, I think. I think we just keep this one short. Otherwise, the uh, second term we're going to be rushing. We're at about like 20 minutes. Uh, I tried for you, everyone. I, everybody, we tried. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I don't want to... Given, given that there's going to be potentially a whole lot of conflict, I don't want to shortchange next turn or turn this into an hour-plus episode. Um, okay. okay. All right. But I, I do think we've, we've kind of covered it. So yeah. short one this time, but hopefully yeah. it looks like some sparks next time. Yeah. Well, I think, it, I think it's very interesting how... You know, the two elf nations going after Hinnom has such intriguing diplomatic consequences for the entire yeah. other side of the world. Um, yeah. So I think, I think this game's really starting to heat up with that move. Yes. Uh, and I'm very excited. Yeah, because that, so once they're both committed, who's, I mean, Aramor and Caleb and Ulm are the only nations that won't be fighting somebody? 
Uh, I think that's correct. And they're all kind of, you know, right near each other. Yeah, they're in a sort of like uh, Mexican standoff with each other. A little bit. A little bit. All right. Well, uh, thank you for joining me. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And we will see you all in the next one. Have a great day. See you.